Expectations brightening the cloud-saturated sky at Notre Dame Stadium prior to a meeting between two of the biggest names in college football history, Michigan and Notre Dame. And a match between two coaches responsible for restoring football glory to a pair of tarnished giants, Rich Rodriguez and Brian Kelly. We're minutes away from kickoff, but first to our studio in New York. We asked Brian Kelly about uh, that first run out in the game against Purdue a week ago, and he said it was quite a moment, but he had to get out of the way of all those big, excited players running behind him. And Rich Rodriguez ready to lead his Wolverines onto the field. Sounds like a nice Notre Dame reception. Yeah. Waiting for <laughs> and here's Michigan. As hail to the victor's plays. You'll be hearing that and the Notre Dame victory march echoing through your head for two weeks after this game, the two greatest fight songs in college football. As opposed to being in the gun. Under center. See if they just go quarterback sneak. There it is. And touchdown. So the Irish 71 yards, 13 plays, two touchdowns called back. They finally punch it in. Well, all the talk has been about Denard Robinson. We'll see him next. But in the meantime, Chris and company making a statement. Brian Kelly has talked about getting the backup quarterback integrated into the offense. Keep in mind, this kid's father coached for 25 years with Terry Donahue at UCLA and then became a pro personnel director. This kid grew up with football, Tommy Reese. In fact, the former Chicago Bears ball boy pass it back to Reese, and it's intercepted. Pass intercepted by Michigan. Jonas Mouton picks off the Tommy Reese pass, handed it off, they pitched it back to Reese, and he threw the pick. And I think you have to question, A, the insertion of this kid into the game at this point, and B, the decision-making. They're trying to give him a chance to make a play. They're going to fake, give the ball off to Armando Allen, flip it back to him. Here's Mouton. Great job reacting back, reading the eyes of the freshman quarterback. Look at the eyes. And reacts back underneath the football. Here it comes. He sees it. He reacts to it. He makes a play. And after you drive so efficiently in that first drive, I want Dane Christ in the football game. So Reese's first career pass attempt is picked off. Good field position for Robinson, who takes the run wide open for the touchdown. Roy Roundtree, touchdown Michigan off the interception. What a momentum shift. And we talked earlier about the pressure on the defensive backs in the option attack. And the minute the safeties read, watch what happens when they come into the run game when he starts moving this way. Here comes the safety. Nobody in the middle of the field. Touchdown, round three. Well, there'll be a lot of second guessing Brian Kelly's decision to put in the freshman quarterback. Robinson with a touchdown pass off the turnover. So no coach's decision. Injury concerns, apparently, for Dane Christ. So Reese, second career pass, incomplete. A little short and wide for Theo Riddick. It'll be second down and 10. Sierra Wood stopped for a big loss, nowhere to go. Craig Rowe trapped him in the backfield. That's a loss of six yards. Complete momentum shift. Craig Rowe, one of the most athletic players on their team. He kicks down when they go to the four-man line, the defensive end, fights through the double team of Robin, Robinson and Dever, and makes the play. He's the one guy on that play call that should never make the tackle, and Notre Dame's offense allowed him. Tough spot right here on third and 16, deep in his own territory. This is Sierra Wood on the draw, delayed handoff. Gets it back to the original line of scrimmage, but it'll be a Notre Dame punting situation after the 10-yard Wood run by Sierra Wood. Got a couple of shots at it, and now it's going to be Nate Montana, the son of the legendary Joe Montana in Irish lore, the former walk-on, now on scholarship, who played at Pasadena Community College last year. Nate Montana at the controls, hands off to Armando Allen, who stopped at the line of scrimmage, no gain. 
Getting the call here, and his first pass is batted right back into his hands, and alertly he knocks it down to the turf, so it'll go in complete. It was Craig Rowe that hit it for the Wolverines. I think Rowe is their best pass rusher. Long, he's lean, he understands when to elevate, get in the way of the football. Montana smartly knocks it down. But if you're talking about debuts for new quarterbacks, Tommy Rees, his first throw was an interception. Nate Montana's first throw was knocked down. They're down in 10. Keeper by Montana. He's hit hard, short of the 30-yard line. Cameron Gordon first on the scene. It'll be short of the first down and a fourth down putting situation after Montana runs for seven yards. Four-man line again. Robinson. Passes on complete to Odoms. Odoms stopped a yard short of the first down. And he'll run here. Robinson putting on the moves and the fumble. Ball is loose, still loose. And it looks like the Wolverines recovered it. <laughs> got it fumbled and got it back. You kidding me, Vincent Smith. And Vincent Smith jumps on it. Hurry up by the Wolverines. Robinson's pass to Odoms. Right at the first down marker. Michigan driving here with two minutes left in the quarter. Darren Walls made that stop. For the Irish getting nothing done. The defense really feeling the pressure now. Robinson fakes the handoff, has a man wide open, has it for the touchdown, Odoms. Nope, they'll mark him just short, a yard short of the touchdown. Martavius Odoms for a gain of 31. Walls prevented the touchdown, but it'll be first and goal, Wolverines. Free snap, we got a disadvantage if you're a Notre Dame fan. One, two, on three, are you kidding me? This guy can't get over. There's some pre-snap confusion with Notre Dame. Hand off to Hopkins and Stephen Hopkins. Touchdown, Michigan. The lead back, you got two lead blockers that are offensive and defensive linemen. William Campbell, Quentin Washington, and that's just old school power football. Stephen Hopkins, the true freshman from Double Oak, Texas. His first career carry is a Michigan touchdown. So Michigan, Driving down the field to take the lead for the first time. 14-7, 65 yards and five plays. Mentors, it's their process. So deep in their own territory after a 47-yard punt. First and 10 for the Wolverines. Robinson got to the corner. Here's the speedster racing down the field and caught from behind by Harrison Smith. But he rambled for 37 yards and a first down. Yeah, there, here's that zone read. This is an option that we talked about. The mesh point, when he goes that way, he's reading the defensive end of the linebacker. Who's going to scrape? And when he doesn't see anybody scraping, what's he do? Pull the football. Now you've got an athlete in space. And, folks, that athlete's better than any of the other athletes, and he's going to win every time. You've got to stop this kid, or you got no chance. Second down and 10. Quarterback draw. Robinson. Tackled at midfield. Here's a key third down early in the second quarter. Blitz. Robinson hands off. Shaking tackles is Michael Shaw, but stopped by the Notre Dame defense shy of the first down. Ian Williams first again. First down at the 14 for the Michigan offense. Denard Robinson fakes, rolls right, has a blocker. Pass is caught. Big game for Martavius Odoms from Denard Robinson, a gain of 21 yards. Just blown me away for a young kid. Yeah, he is young. Here's another blitz, but he has confidence, a big smile when we talk to him, and rambles for another first down just inside the midfield stripe before it's tripped up by Gary Gray. That's a 14-yard gain as we check yeah. in. It is Gardner, the freshman, just like last week, spelling Robinson and handing it off to Smith. Smith stacked up after a four-yard game. So third down and six. Robinson loads, fires way over the head of the would-be receiver, round three. Incomplete, fourth down. Irish got some pretty good pressure on Robinson that time. 
Michigan showing blitz. Picked up. Montana's pass is picked off. Intercepted by JT Floyd. Another Irish turnover. Tommy Reese had an interception and Nate Montana throws a pick. And it'll be a good field position. So with six and a half minutes to go till halftime, this interception by Nate Montana. In seven, Michigan. Robinson got away from a man in the backfield. Crosses the 10 to the 12-yard line. First down, Michigan. Zeke Mata. The run first formation by Michigan here with the tight end H-back. Robinson has missed six in a row on pass attempts. He'll run it here with a lot of green space. And off to the races. Denard Robinson to the 20. Racing into the end zone for the Michigan touchdown. Denard Robinson got downfield blocking that was able to spring him for 87 yards. Wow, the patience. Love what happened behind the block of Koger. And Roundtree made a block. Roundtree downfield made a block. The tackle, Dora Stein at the point of attack. Love the patience of Robbins. And Gibbons with the extra point. Good. And with a minute 51 to go in the first half, Michigan adds to its lead on the Denard Robinson run of 87 yards. And now he's gained 107 on wow. the ground. Actually, uh, 107 passing yards and 174 rushing yards. I predict a lot of runners will be wearing uh, untied shoes here in the <laughs> next few weeks. Lock down the field right there. Boy on Zeke Mata, Roy Roundtree, who people weren't even sure were going to play. He had internal injuries last week. And we highlighted this young man as a difference maker for a reason. You put the tape on, and you know he's special right away. Good protection for Montana, who hands it off to Allen. Armando Allen stays in bounds. And that'll be a horse collar tackle and a penalty against the Wolverines with 32 seconds. Horse collar. Personal foul. Horse collar tackle. Number eight, defense. 15-yard penalty results in an automatic first down. Penalty called by Jonas Mouton, so a reprieve. You gotta pick up 10 to 15 yards to give yourself a shot here on fourth down. Montana goes left. He's going for the end zone. Has a man wide open. And the catch is made by Riddick. Riddick got behind Cameron Gordon. And the clock shows three seconds. Looks like he had the right was there. One foot down. Huh? Yeah, I think it was down before the right foot hit. As long as he secured the football prior to that right foot, which I think he did. Kyle Rudolph, such a dangerous man in the end zone. Here's the roll. Throws it way up there, though, way over the head of Michael Floyd. Got to give your receiver a chance, and he had no chance yeah. on that one. And interception doesn't matter. Brian Kelly knows it. Nate Montana has to know you have to make that throw and put it in play. Halftime. Stay tuned now for the Discover Halftime Report. Don't forget the halftime performances of the Michigan and Notre Dame bands at NBCSports.com. Right now, let's go to Dan Patrick in our New York studio.